What up, your boy Aaron's here. Today we're talking about the youngest ever heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. As you may know, Mike Tyson's coming out of retirement to do an exhibition against Roy Jones Jr. And recently he put out a video where he was hitting mitts and he still got it. I mean, he's ripping combinations on the pads. In this video, I'm gonna do a breakdown of all the combinations you've seen Mike Tyson do in his most recent training video. If you're interested in more boxing and kickboxing videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell below so you get notifications on when we put out new videos. I'm here with Tommy Duquette, former national boxing team member and fight camp trainer, and myself, former professional kickboxer and fight camp trainer as well. Should we get into it? Let's do it. Hey. Well, okay. Woo! Let's do it, huh? Right, let's get it. Hey! Combination one. I call this an educated left hand. We're gonna throw four lead hands in a row. The combination is one, three, five to the body, three to the head. It looks like this. Now I want to do a little bit of a breakdown. He's going to throw that one three to set up to slip forward. Once he slips forward, oh, Tommy, I wasn't ready. That's it. I can't feel it. Oh. He's going to throw the one three just to distract me and get my hands to come up high so he can slip forward and blast me in the liver. Okay, so we go one three, slip hold. So now from here, see how he loads up in the lead leg. When you throw that shovel hook to the liver, you gotta use your quad to lift. Watch how he lifts up, really driving the legs. One more time, he slips forward, lifts up. From here, he's gonna shift the weight back in the three to the head. Boom, now he blasts. Last, that's called an educated left hand. Nice shot. That looks better. We find it. Nice. Uh, easy. I already am. I'm 60. Don't I look good? Don't I look good? <laughs> Combination of two is one, two, roll, two, three, two, skip towards your lead leg, four to the body, six upstairs. Did he just say? Combination two. This is the combination that went viral. It's a one, two, three, slip forward, three to the body, three to the body, roll underneath, two. Watch Tommy rip it a couple times, then we'll break it down. Oh sh Combination number two, what I'm trying to do here with the first one, two, three, I throw it with bad intent so that I raise his hands up. One, two, three, really hard. From there, I'm gonna drop down, take this angle, I'm gonna punish the body just like Mike Tyson. Dig, three to the body. Dig, three to the body. I'm gonna anticipate the counter punch here and I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to take an angle on him, open up that chin, bang, blast him out. See how he took that step as he rolls, that's hard. Now let's do it slow. Bang, bang, my hands come up, he slips, hits me in the body, hits me again, rolls underneath, takes that step, and then throws the two. Remember, the one, two, three is just getting my hands to come up. We throw the punches fast in the beginning, gets his head out of the center, then hits me hard with those liver shots. Let's rip them three times hard and fast. Hey. Watch how he digs the liver. Ooh, wee. You know what? This thing's durable, but honestly, I'm feeling it a lot on my liver. I'm not kidding. All right, my man. You ready to take some body punches? Do I have a choice? Yeah, hands up, baby. Let's go. I want to raise. Combination three is a hard one. Mike Tyson is notorious for skipping around his opponent. All right, so let's do it a couple times fast just so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll break it down. So it's a one, two, roll, two, three, two. And then he skips around me, hits a four to the body and the six upstairs. So the hardest part of this is skipping around, hitting the four, and then the six. Nice. See how he moves around. So when you skip around, you hit the four to the solar plexus, you recoil, and then you lift with the six upstairs. Tyson's notorious for that. Skipping, body, uppercut, outside, inside. Okay, let's break it down slow. It's a one, two, roll, two, three, two. From here, watch how he skips. Now he's on the side of me and I'm completely squared up. He hits me in the body one more time. Re recoils, six upstairs. It's not a pendulum, it's just a turn. Turn. It's hard. Ha, ha. Oh, 
Roy Jones wins. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Combination four, it's a hard one. It's one, two, roll, two, three. Now from here, my weight's back. I'm gonna skip towards my rear leg, cut that angle, and then three to the body, five. So it's basically skipping around your opponent again, but this time we're going in the opposite direction. Let's break it down slow with Tommy. How you feeling, coach? Uh, my liver hurts a little you've been bit. Doing, you've been doing them sit-ups? Not as much as you've I need to. You've been doing abs? No. I need to pick it up. Okay, one, two, roll, two, three. <laughs> From here, he skips <laughs> around, hits me in the body, gives me a five upstairs and a, and, uh, a necessary shoulder bump. Uh, the shoulder bump is very necessary because once you are able to skip around, you give him that shot, give him that shot here, you hear, you dig him, you get him away from you a little bit. Nice. So with this one, I'm gonna throw that initial one, two, and I'm gonna throw it with bad intent. Bang, bang. Then I'm gonna anticipate that counter punch, slip it, we like to say make a miss. Bang, bang, make them pay. Now their defense is up. I'm gonna take an angle on them. I'm gonna shift quickly, dig the body, dig the uppercut, and then move my head, always, after I'm done punching. Try that one at home on the bag with a partner with mitts, or just shadow boxing in the mirror. So my old coach used to tell me, you're conscious of the combinations, now you have to do it 10,000 times to be competent. Practice these four combinations, shadow boxing first, make sure your technique is right, then on the heavy bag on the focus mitts. Once you feel competent, practice on your sparring partners too, see if you can pull it off. These combinations are super advanced, so you have to practice them slowly in the mirror, refining your technique, then take it to the heavy bag and onto the focus mitts. If you're super advanced, Practice them on your sparring partners. These combinations are super advanced, so you need to practice them in the mirror first, refining your technique. From there, take it to the heavy bag or the focus mitts. My favorite combination was the second one. Tell me what your favorite combination is in the comments below. Thank you for watching, guys. If you're interested in taking your boxing and kickboxing to the next level, make sure to join Fight Cap in the links below. I'd love to see you on the leaderboard.